welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 for a bit of a different series. We're on No Man's Land by an absolutely amazing map maker called Alien Jim. The reason why this is going to be a little bit different is because normally this would be absolutely ideal for a survival sort of let's play like the one I did on Jack Pine in FS19 and although I didn't record it exactly like the way I played it on FS19 as well um, I played it as a survival game uh, the reason why it's going to be different on this one and I thought about this for quite a while I thought about putting it off simply because I wasn't happy with the amount of sort of mods that are out to go with this map not by Alien Jim, Jim himself I mean smaller machinery um, smaller cultivators smaller cedars things that we kind of took for granted when this map came out in FS19 so, I'm, so on this map and on maps like Jack Pine we were able to play it as a survival series. What I've done to make it that little bit harder is not only is everything set to the most difficult we can do, you'll see we've got no seasons on, but everything's set on difficult, everything's on, dirt's fast, fuel's high. Um, we can't get any harder basically I've also took a half a million euro loan that we have nothing but one euro left of so not only are we starting off with equipment that is if I go into it So our equipment, you'll see, it's got no value to it. It's got loads of hours on it. Um, it's got, it hasn't got much fuel in. It's got loads of wear and tear on. They're all the same. I've actually got rid of some of the stuff as well. So when you start the game, it comes with um, a truck as well. That went. And I have a feeling a couple of other things went as well, but I can't remember what they are. We do have a chainsaw and I think that is about it I will jump down off here so on the map itself we start off with our own workshop we start with this little sort of bale shed I'm sure in 19 it was called a bale shed I haven't looked on this one um, that's our combine the Russell Mash, again, it's worth next to nothing. We've got our own water source here. We've got our silo. We have our large open shed. Our cabin, that is falling apart. And our toilet, that at the minute we won't go in. Equipment wise, this is it. Oh, we have deer as well. This is it. This is all we have. I had thought about using the smallest tractor in the game, which is the DLC. Um, I'll show you. This one here. However, there's no equipment small enough to go with it. So that was a no go. So this is what we've got. We've got a huge loan to pay off. Um, and land-wise, we own this. And that's it. We've got one field there and then the potential to do with us. We have 
whatever seed I know there is some in there but there's not much whatever seeds in there and nothing else so with all of that let's get cracking right so do we have to decide the started we're in the style we're actually going to make this field a bit bigger um, whether we've got the seed to actually fill it or not I don't know yet but we're going to come down as much as we can what I would have wanted to do is I think this is pretty much going to be us in it. I'll take it to here anyway what I would have wanted to do would have been to um, use this grass put a lot of great fields on um, I would have liked to use the grass and sell it however we haven't got any of the machinery to do that with basically no mowers, no forest harvester, uh, forage harvesters, no um, no balers, nothing. So that wasn't an option. The only sort of saving grace, I suppose, is that we'll get, or we should get, a fertilising state from it. Now, I'm not going to go all the way to the top. Not yet, anyway. Or do I? Do I go to it? I want to save that space for something else. No, I'll keep it. I'll keep it there. Things like you'll see, there's massive amounts of uh, stones coming up there. Won't be able to do anything with them because we just won't have the money to be able to deal with them. Not to start with, anyway. Uh, off there, I didn't really want to create the new edge on the side, but we're basically going to be planting as is. Yeah, the reason why I, uh, I took the loan, when I seen this map I was absolutely desperate to start playing on it because I loved the version of it on Nightmare, absolutely loved it, I spent so much time on this map, um, in fact I struggle to think of a map that I put more hours into. Um, just because this totally suits the way I like to play. Like, absolutely down the ground. This is how I like to play. But just with... Because FS22 is so new... I was worried we wouldn't have... Or we don't have... The mods available, so it would have just been too easy. Um, and I wouldn't... I wouldn't have wanted that. 
so I thought a way to equal it out would be the, to get that loan that way I mean that might be too much I just I put that on and it's sort of even just sort of looking at it now it's uh, it's quite daunting to be honest but it's a challenge I suppose isn't it I don't know if I'm going to um, carry on in the sense of Brandon this is survival let's play like I did with Jack Pine um, or whether it's going to be called something else I haven't decided yet I mean Basically, we need to make money every single day. So after I've done this, I mean, I want to get the crops in the ground today, but either today or tomorrow, in game, I'm going to have to look at some way of making money. And obviously there's no contracts on this, um, on this particular map, so that's not an option the yield on our crops to start with is going to be mega low because we've got no ability to line no ability to fertilise at the minute What I need in here is one of the fastest crops. I think sorghum's one of them. I need to get that money quickly. Um, as for rules. Obviously we've got the half a million euro loan. I will not be loaning anymore. When I start paying that off, I won't be putting it back up. No loans. Um, no workers. However, I don't think you can hire a worker anyway. You couldn't on 19. So I haven't tried. I know it says hire a worker there. Um, but I'd imagine going to be the same way you can't hire a worker anywhere. Um, what other rules have we got in? Oh, no leasing. No loans, no workers, no leasing. So, I mean, other than starting with nothing, maybe a chainsaw and having to walk bits of wood I mean I could have done that having to walk bits of uh, timber to the cell point I can't really have made it any more difficult At the minute 
that we'll play on um, times five. We might have to sort of change that ad hoc, but uh, we'll do that for now. And we've got it on one day a month at the minute as well. Just because the way we start, I didn't see any point in not having it on one day. It's no point number two or three. We won't have enough work to do. This sort of thing, I mean, I only did, I only recorded two series on 19, which was Greenlands, which was a sort of standard let's play, uh, and Jack Pine, and I think by far and away, the one I joined, enjoyed most was Jack Pine. I was actually surprised this came out as early as it did on um, on 22. I know it came out just under a week ago, so we're on the 19th now, 19th of December. I think it came out just under a week ago for PC, and I was absolutely gutted when I seen it come on PC. We already knew at the time that we wouldn't have been getting any mods on console for I think it said towards the end of the month initially but it hasn't been that long and then we get the news today that all these mods are back and as soon as I've seen this I just just instantly think in a ways of how we can create the series Fertilizer safe on the grass. I think we should. And I don't know what state that crop was in. Well, if it was withered, then we might actually get a free fertilizer state off that as well. That we love on here. Um, not for the map, just tractor wise. Our little dots of um, our roleplay. That would be absolutely ideal, wouldn't it? Too long. I'm going to just jump 
to the end of the ploughing. Two secs. Right, just about finished the ploughing. As soon as we are, we're going to get the cedar on. And I'm going to whack a time lapse on, I think. But I can only seed with whatever's in the tank. And I don't think there's overly much in the tank. Right, let's go and get changed over. Right. We've got our seeder. We have 300. But we need to unfold the first. We have 304 litres of seed. That is it. And at the minute, absolutely no funds whatsoever to put any more in. So we use this until it's over basically. We put the sorghum in. There's two crops in contention sorghum and oats. Normally, if this was 19, I'd be going for oats because I would be confident I could get a baler cheap enough to uh, to get bales as well. So I'd make money off the crop and make money off the straw. Not only do I know there's no bale is cheap enough for us to be able to get by that stage but I'm not sure as yet whether there's anywhere that takes straw So 
switching engine off because we're so low on fuel. Right. Our first field on no man's land. Ploughed and seeded with sorghum. So for that, we're going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. And we'll see if we can start getting through this half a million pound debt that we've got. See you then.